You totally could solve this thing algebraically, and you probably should. This is a system of equations. We do need to know how to solve these algebraically for lots of reasons. And what we would do in this case is since y equals is given to us, we would just take the thing that y is equal to and pop it in for y in the other equation. That gets rid of the double variable, leaves us only with x's, and then we can solve. The one trick, though, is you've got to be careful. That negative there means that when we substitute, we're going to have this term in parentheses, and that negative is going to need to be distributed to both parts. That's something that's easy to forget. And if you do forget that, I'm pretty sure one of these wrong answers is going to be a, an answer that you get very confidently. So we got to be careful. If you think you're prone to those kinds of mistakes, we can also just guess and check here, right? This sets this question up very nicely because all of these are just the plain old value of y. So if we were being lazy about it, we might choose something like choice C to start and say, okay, in my top equation, if y were 1, that would mean x minus 2. Well, x would have to be 3 for that to be the case. And then we could check that in the bottom equation, 3 times 3 minus 1 equals 0. No, that doesn't make any sense. That's just wrong, right? 9 minus 1 is not 0. So we could do this and we could continue through the choices. The right answer is going to end up being A. If we do negative 3 is equal to x minus 2, okay, that's only going to happen. We add 2 to both sides is if x is equal to negative 1. And then 3 times negative 1 minus negative 3. There's all those negatives. Notice it's not a coincidence that they're showing up here. They would have showed up as well if we had done the algebra. But 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And then minus negative 3 is the same as plus 3. And so there you go, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. So we've proven that choice A is our value of y. Again, I think the algebra here is a little bit faster, but I know that for a lot of us, algebra just doesn't come naturally. And so that shouldn't mean that we have to give up on these algebra-looking questions. The strategies are there to give us alternative methods. And if you, even if it means taking a little bit longer, in a lot of cases like this, I'd rather you take the time and guarantee the points on something like this than rush through it, make the mistake, lose the points, and then also lose more points on the hard questions that you probably weren't going to get anyway. So it's all about just budgeting your time and using it where you're going to get the most bang for your buck in terms of the points. This is a must-get kind of question for everyone.